John Carpenter, Hamden, Connecticut, going for his second million dollar prize here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Be a record that uh, may stand for a long, long time. So you heard Kandinsky talking to you. <laughs> Funny, none of us heard a not, word. Not in real, not even really hear him. Now, does most everything you read stay with you? I mean, you know, I except in college, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but, sign, cosine, stuff like that. It's funny, the things that you read and you no remember, idea. and then you can dredge up uh, at a time like this. <laughs> it's a gift. So are you uh, human like the rest of us? Because the I showed you before. I was shaking. Yeah, shaking. Okay. Sure. Okay. Good. Glad to see it. All right. <laughs> $500,000, and we still have one lifeline left. You can phone a friend. Two away from one million. Let's play. <laughs> Here it is for a half a million dollars. Who was the first baseball player to be featured on a U.S. postage stamp? Roberto Clemente, Lou Gehrig, Jackie Robinson, Babe Ruth. Let me, um, let me call my brother Tom. What does Tom do? I'm not sure, but he works, uh, he does some with computers. Be nice if he was a mailman, you know? <laughs> knew the Absolutely. Posters. I used to have a stamp collection, but I don't know. Baseball this. fan. Um, he just knows things. It's one of those families. <laughs> All right, AT&T, let's get Brother Tom on the line. Hello? Hello, Tom. Speaking. I've got Brother John here, Regis Philbin, calling from New York. How are you? Very well, thank you, and you read it. Good, I'm, I'm fine. We have a question here that has stumped your brother. No. Yes, believe it or not. <laughs> Actually threw up his hands and said, I don't know. <laughs> but he's doing very well. He's won 250000 going for a half million right now. So when he gets on the line, he's going to read you a question and four possible answers, all right? Okay. One of them's the right answer. Good luck. Good luck to you, John. Starts right now, 30 seconds. Who was the first baseball player to be featured on a U.S. postage stamp? Was it Roberto Clemente, Lou Gehrig, Jackie Robinson, or Babe Ruth? I'd have to guess uh, Jackie Robinson simply because of uh, who he was, but uh, I wouldn't risk all the money on it. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> it's a really good point. Sorry, I can't do any better. Babe Ruth sounds tempting, but I still think it's Jackie. It's either that or Lou Gehrig, I was thinking. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's a tough decision because you're playing for a charity as if well. It was, if this was my money, um, I'm stupid enough to, to make to take the uh, the chance. But look, if we all be quiet, maybe, maybe he'll one speak of, to me. Maybe one of them will talk to you. No, not coming. Huh? Not coming through. No, I, I promised these guys here that I was going to make this quick and easy. Alrighty. I am going to walk away. All right, so let's take a guess. Now, your brother thought maybe Jackie Robinson. You thought maybe Robinson or Lou Gehrig. What's your pick? I say, I say, uh, uh, Gehrig. Well, if you had listened to your brother, you'd have won $500,000. But that's all right. Jackie Robinson was on the first one on the set. $250,000. Just great having you here, Tom. Thank Just you. great. Thank right you. up there, man. Thank you. Still got to work. Yes, Jackie Robinson, August 1982, the first baseball player to be on a U.S. postage stamp. But that's one smart family up there in Connecticut, isn't it? And one memorable contestant. I know how much his charity meant to him, and I'm sure $125,000 is going to mean a lot to the Sarah Endowment Foundation in Connecticut.